How do you subtract large numbers efficiently? 343,356 minus 24,238. Do I use an open number line? Do I use a standard algorithm? In this lesson you will learn how to subtract multi-digit whole numbers by using the standard subtraction algorithm. So we're going to subtract 343,356 minus 24,238 and we're going to use the standard subtraction algorithm. That's going to be the most efficient way to do this. So number one, we're going to line up the numbers that we're going to subtract. Step number two, we're going to look at the ones place. Do I need to decompose and recompose numbers in order to subtract? I don't know. We'll have to check. And finally, step number three, we will repeat this with other place values in case we need to change some numbers. All right, step number one, here we go. Let's line up those numbers. So I have 343,356 on the top, 24,238 on the bottom. I'm ready to subtract. And then I notice a problem. Look at my ones place. I have a six from my top number in the ones place, and in the bottom there's nothing. There's a blank spot. There's no number there. I didn't line up my numbers correctly. I don't have my ones place lined on top of each other. So let's try it again. Now I have 343,356 subtracting 24,238. I have my 6 in the ones place and my 8 in the ones place lined up underneath of each other so that I can subtract them and make sure I'm subtracting the correct place values. So the one on the left, not going to work. The equation on the right, that's the one that I need. So now that we're ready to subtract, I have to look at that ones place. Do I need to decompose and recompose some numbers in order to subtract? I do. I can't do 6 minus 8. I can't take 6 and subtract 8 from it. It's not big enough. So I'm going to have to decompose the tens place. Instead of 5 groups of 10, it's going to have 4 groups of 10. And I'm going to take that group of 10 and I'm going to give it to the ones place and I'm going to make that number now 16. I've recomposed it and made it a different number. I've made it 16. So now I can do 16 minus 8, which equals 8. Okay, now that we know how to recompose and decompose, let's go ahead and subtract the whole thing. 343,356 minus 24,238. I'm going to use my place value chart to help us just so we have a visual. So let's put our top number into the place value chart. Six ones, five groups of ten, three groups of a hundred, three groups of a thousand, four groups of ten thousand, and three groups of a hundred thousand. All right, we already know we cannot subtract 6 minus 8, so we need to decompose the tens place. So I'm going to take that group of 10 for the tens place. I'm going to make just four groups of 10, and then I'm going to recompose my ones place and make it 16 ones. So 16 minus 8 will equal 8. In my tens place, I have 40. Subtracting 30, I can do that, so that's 10. In my hundreds place, I have 300 minus 200, that equals 100. I'm good. But once I get to my thousands place, I have a problem again. I have 3,000 and I'm trying to subtract 4,000. I can't do that. So I need to decompose my 10 thousands place. And I need to give that to my thousands place. So my 10 thousands place now has three groups. But my thousands place now has 13 groups of 1,000. So 13,000 minus 4,000 is 9,000. 30,000 minus 20,000 is 10,000, and then I'm left with my three groups of 100,000 because there's nothing to subtract. So my answer is 319,118. In this lesson, you have learned how to subtract multi-digit whole numbers by using the standard subtraction algorithm.